They trap poor kids like me in failing schools with no way out. Yeah, absolutely. We're all very excited for uh, Senator Vance to be the vice presidential nominee. We're very happy that President Trump picked him. A lot of us are friends with him and have been close to him for many years, and uh, we're all very excited for him. I heard he has an Indian-American connection as well. Uh, yes, his wife, Usha, is lovely uh, and great and uh, is uh, an Indian-American, yes. Yeah, absolutely. We think it's great. We think, you know, Senator Vance has done a great job in Ohio, and he'll be able to do that across the country. Who did you vote for today? Who did I what? Vote today. Yeah, so I'm a, a delegate, very proud to be a delegate, to have casted my vote today for President Trump to be our Republican nominee for President 2024, and honored to be one of the few Indian American delegates here, and we're all just very excited. So, President Biden has had a lot of struggles, record inflation, record spending, uh, the economy is not healthy, and, and under President Trump's leadership, uh, we saw the opposite. We saw job growth, we saw tax cuts, and people want to return to that strong and steady leadership. Yeah, what I would tell them is pro-business policies matter, pro-health care policies matter. Democrats have bad policies for Indian American physicians, Indian American business owners, hotel owners. And then on a foreign policy side, On a foreign policy side, uh, we want a strong U.S.-India relationship, and I, we think that'll be under President Trump. I think it was a watershed moment in American politics and American history. Uh, it united Republicans. We were already united, but united us even more under this responsibility and duty that we now feel for the president, and now we hope to unite the country. Democrats have recklessly spent trillions of dollars of wasteful and unnecessary government programs. And